What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. I've been thinking about some teams in the NFL that, you know, who could be a surprise, who could be legit, who's kind of going under the radar, and the Indianapolis Colts are one that kept popping back up. And I feel like the reason that they kind of slide under the radar right now is because we just don't know if Anthony Richardson can stay healthy. That's the main, main worry, because when the dude plays, he's a highlight waiting to happen, and he's really was so much fun to watch in those couple games that he played last year. Um, but the health is a concern. But if we're, we're going to look at this video on the glass half full side, because if he's healthy, I think they have potential to be one of the best teams in the AFC and definitely have potential to be a playoff team. And I want to know in the comments, if you had to, you know, put 50 bucks on it, do you think the Colts make the playoffs this year? And it's a big if because of the AR concerns, right? And I'm 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 completely acknowledging of them. I just think it's fun to to predict. So we're gonna do that right now. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you like this kind of content. Please like the video. But they have talent all up and down the roster. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. They've done a really good job putting together a really quality team in terms of the depth pieces. Uh, I mean, Anthony Richardson as your your high profile quarterback, if he's healthy, we've seen him destroy and be awesome. Can he stay healthy? That's the, only for us to find out. Jonathan Taylor still gonna be one of the best running backs in the league. Uh, finally, you know he's got his money. He's not, no, he's got a full camp. Everything should be in good shape for Jonathan Taylor this year. And I, I'm a big fan of JT's game. I just think he's a dog. Uh, Michael Pittman, who is seemingly in getting in every brawl and practice that he possibly can. But I'm going to be honest, I kind of like that kind of stuff. I'd rather see the dudes getting juiced up and fired up and over-emotional than not emotional enough. So, uh, But when we see Pittman play, the dude's a wide receiver. One, plays great. He's, <laughs> he's a mismatch. He's huge. He's a playmaker. It's good to have, but he's a wide receiver one on a team that has Josh Downs, who was excellent last year. Excellent last year. He's going into, I believe, year two. Um, so you have that, and then you have Adam A. Mitchell, who seemingly has really, really high potential to be a, a, a good threat on this team, and especially if he's playing as a wide receiver three, you're really not asking him to do a whole lot as a rook. And the O-line is solid. The O-line is really quality. You got one, probably the best guard in the league, Quentin Nelson. You do you have a lot of good things going on, right? Uh, and the one thing that I noticed with this team is that they're young. It's a young, young team. Like Pittman's young, Downs is young, Adam Mitchell's young, Anthony Richards is young, uh, Jonathan Taylor's still young. The defense, Quiddy Pay. I don't. I don't think Quiddy Pay is all that old. If I look at his, uh, what is he? He's twenty five. Yeah, he's young. He's young as hell too. He blew up last year. He had a great year on the D line for them. DeForest Buckner, he's a little older. He's he's got some 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 tread on the tire or some he's you know he's 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 got some miles on him, I guess is what I'm trying to say there. Uh Grover Stewart, kind of the same thing. Those are two interior D-line guys that provide a lot of value and still have a lot of juice, still have a lot of tread on the tires. Uh but then you draft Liatu Latou, right? Who he was the first defensive player off the board, and he has superstar defensive potential. That is that is what that is. Is he going to be like a number one pick in drafts? No, we know that because he was, well, I think it was like, what, 15th or something in this last one? Or 14th, he was somewhere, somewhere in there. But ultimately, he could still be really good. And he's the reason I think he could have a really special rookie year is because he's playing with guys like Quiddy Pay, DeForest Buckner, Grover Stewart. Those guys all in front of him attracting attention. That's a good thing. That's a, that's a great situation for a rookie to go into. Zaire Franklin's one of the best middle linebackers in the league. He's he's come on and been better and better and better every year. He looks awesome. And then the, the secondary is young. Secondary is, is 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 young like a lot of this team. Like Julian Blackman, it was a standout last year. He's young. I think he's only 25. Kenny Moore, I think Kenny Moore might be a little bit <clears throat> a little bit older. 28. He's really in his prime is what he is. But they're like Jalen Jones is young. Um Juju Brents is young. Nick Cross is young. There's so much young talent and potential, and I think they've done such a great job drafting. So this is kind of, maybe we're a year too soon on them. Maybe that's the potential. Maybe maybe that's fair to say, because they are so young. But I think when you have a great coach like Shane Steichen, a lot of these guys are going to be in great situations to succeed. You have good depth pieces. 
as long as Anthony Richardson can stay healthy, I I like their odds in their games. Now that is another thing that I did look at, and their schedule is is a shit show. It is, they I looked at it the schedule. I think they have the way I was viewing it. Twelve tough games out of the seventeen, and you can. I'm going to read them off right now, and you tell me if you agree if it's a tough game or not. I think these that's the thing with tough games is they're so hard to predict because I think the week one is Houston and the Texans. The Texans, I think, are going to be amazing, and that's a division rival. We know that. That's 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 a whole thing. It came down to the wire last year, right? But that's a, I still think that's a tough game for either team. Green Bay, tough game. I think Chicago got better just off the fact that they should have a star at quarterback in Caleb Williams, who people love to hate on. I don't get it. I just think the dude is a, an amazing amazing talent, and you're, the Bears should be better this year just off of that alone. That's a tough game. Pittsburgh is always tough no matter who they're playing. Jacksonville is a division rival. That's a tough game. They're looking to bounce back after a poor year last year. Tennessee, I don't think that's as much of a tough game. Tennessee did add a lot in free agency, but it, it wasn't like uh, I didn't think there were home runs or anything like that. Uh, Miami is a tough game. Tua just got paid. Tyreek Hill looks primed for another crazy year. Jalen Waddle, same thing. Uh, and then you get Houston again. Tough game. Minnesota, I don't think is so tough, depending what they get from their quarterback play. Uh, Justin Jefferson is obviously insane. That's, in my opinion, the best receiver in the league and has a chance to be the white, best wide receiver ever. Uh, it's a lot of, a lot to throw on a young guy like Jefferson, but the numbers he puts up are godly. Uh, Buffalo, that's a tough game. The Jets, that's a tough game. That defense is insane. If Aaron Rodgers is healthy, they can beat anybody. Detroit, tough game. You guys catching the trend here where... We're on week 12, and the only games that I don't think are all that tough is Tennessee and Minnesota. We haven't even got a bye yet. So we're 10 out of 12 games to start the season that are probably going to be dogfights. Uh, then you get week 13 against New England, who there it's a new era in New England. I don't know what to expect from them. Drake May coming in should be interesting, but I, I wouldn't say that's a tough game just off of that alone because it's a wild card. I don't know. I don't know how good that team will be. Then you have a bye. And then you get Denver, who I don't think will be a tough game. Tennessee shouldn't be tough. The Giants, probably not going to be tough. So really, you get like a four-game stretch where it's like, whew, finally, we get a little bit of a break. Uh, and then you finish in Week 18 against Jacksonville. So ultimately, I counted the game against Tennessee, the game against Minnesota, the game against Denver, Tennessee again, and the Giants. Five games that I don't think are, by definition, tough games. Toss-up games out of 17. That's the only part where this gets like, wow, that is going to be a lot. Like, there's there's a lot of really good teams that they're going to have to play. And, of course, injuries and things like things are going to happen throughout an NFL season. So maybe that, that week 11 game against the Jets isn't as nasty by the time it gets there. Maybe the, the week 8 game against the Texans isn't as tough because if something happens to somebody. Who knows? And I don't want injuries to happen to anybody, but that's the NFL. It's, it's going to happen. We know that. So <laughs> I love the depth chart. I love the young pieces. I'm a big fan of Anthony Richardson. I love JT. Pittman's awesome. Adam A. Mitchell should be awesome. Josh Downs is a dog. The defense, Quiddy Pay, Liatu, Latu should be awesome. Zaire Franklin's a dog. Like, There's a lot of fun stuff in Indianapolis, but that schedule is freaking brutal. And that, that's why I have a really hard time, like, stamping them for the playoffs. Because talent-wise, they could do it, for sure. But it's it's gonna they're going to be one of those teams, if they do get there, that's a team that is battle-tested by the time it gets there. But overall, I'm going to be tuned in to a lot of Colts games. It's what it looks like this season. I'm super interested to see, and I keep looking at the schedule just because there's so many great games on here where... Uh, and they have one, uh, one night game. I think they have like a Sunday night game against the Jets. That's the only like primetime game from what I can see. They probably should have had a few more. Um, yeah, I, it, it should be exciting for the Colts uh, nonetheless. And, uh, I just, the only thing that I really want to see is Anthony Richardson stay healthy. If he stays healthy, they can take anybody because of the dual threat dynamic. The fact that he can throw it as far as anyone wants him to. 
And there's there's so much good stuff. Shane Steichen being his his coach. Shane Steichen just breeds elite QB play. That's how it happens. Justin Herbert's rookie year, Shane Steichen was there on the Chargers. Jalen Hurts' best year of his career, the, the year they go to the Super Bowl, Shane Steichen was the offensive coordinator. And he's got Anthony Richardson now, who in the couple games he was healthy, looked awesome. I expect nothing. I don't expect anything less than that from a guy, from a coach that has done basically great anywhere he's been with young QBs. But yeah, let's all just hope a uh, AR stays healthy. If that happens, I can't wait. It's going to be awesome. Let me know in the comments if you think the Colts will make the playoffs or what you think of the schedule. Do you think that certain games on there aren't as tough as I think they are? That's completely cool. Let me know in the comments what game you're most excited for. I think those games against the Texans are going to be bangers. Uh, that, those are the two that I'll really probably be checked in the most for. But uh, yeah, this, this Colts team is good. They're good on paper. They were good last year. They were just missing some juice at the QB position. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you like this kind of content. Please like the video. Really, really appreciate it. I just can't wait for the Colts to start playing football. Should be fun. Thanks.